Hey, how's it going? It's Nancy Gammon. Have you ever been stuck in a hotel room waiting for your flat iron to cool down so that you could pack it in your suitcase? Well, today I'm going to stitch up a batch of heat resistant travel cases so you can tuck your flat iron away while it's still warm and it'll be ready to pack when you are. The styling iron travel case has a Velcro closure and a divider inside so that you can put your flat iron or curling iron on one side and your cord on the other. If your iron's warm, you won't melt your cord. Then you just close it back up with the Velcro and you're all set to travel. So to make this project, you'll need some fabric about 14 inches by 16 inches, some medium loft batting, and about a half yard of ironing board cover fabric. You'll also need some extra wide double fold bias tape, straight pins, thread, scissors, a sewing machine and everything that goes with it. So we'll start by making the template for the case. And to do that, you'll need a piece of paper that's 16 inches long and eight and a half inches wide. Fold it in half lengthwise, or excuse me, crosswise and lengthwise. And then draw a line to round the corners a little bit to soften the edge of the case. And use your scissors to trim away the extra paper. And that will make your pattern for the case. We'll use the whole paper to cut out the fabric, the batting, and the ironing board cover. And I'm just going to set these pieces aside for now. We'll use them in a minute. And then draw a line on your pattern that's five and a quarter inches from the edge. this part of the pattern, this thick part, to cut out the ironing board cover on the fold. So you can see it's actually two thicknesses here. That's going to make the divider in the center of the case. I'm going to set that aside too and draw one more line on the pattern piece that's five and three quarters inches from that same edge. And I'm going to use that new line to cut out the fabric, the batting, and a single thickness of ironing board cover. So now we have a little bit of sewing to do. So we're going to start by making kind of this outer flap of the travel case. To do that, lay the fabric face up the ironing board cover face down and then put the batting on top. Use some straight pins to secure the batting. It is kind of prone to bunch around. And then stitch one half inch from this straight edge so that it looks like this. Then we're going to trim away this extra batting that's in the seam allowance here so that when we fold the fabric over, it's not quite so bunchy. And 
And now we'll just flip the ironing board cover open and fold it like this so that the fabrics on one side, the ironing board covers on the other, and then the batting is in between. And sew real close to that folded edge and then also center, um, oh my goodness, I forgot to tell you that you needed Velcro. You'll need Velcro. It's three quarters inch wide and three inches long. And center that about one inch from the edge and stitch that into place so that it looks like this. So here the stitching is along the edge. I've got the Velcro there in the center. And then I went ahead and trimmed the extra batting that was kind of peeking around the edges so that it would be nice and neat. And now the case is ready to assemble. So to do that, I'm going to put the large fabric piece face up, or excuse me, the large fabric piece face down, then the batting, then the ironing board cover face up, then this piece that was cut on the fold goes in to form the divider, and then lastly, this piece that we just stitched. So the fabric is facing up on this side, and it's um, down towards the table on the other side. Then you want to pin all the way around and stitch about a quarter of an inch from the edge. And at the same time, you can take your other piece of Velcro and center that so that it's about three quarters of an inch from the edge. So that it looks like this. You'll want to go ahead and trim the batting in the seam allowance and do that all the way around the edge of the case so that there's a little bit less bulk. Then you're ready to apply the bias tape to the edges. And to do that, you just open it up and align the edge of the case with the center fold of the bias tape. And then fold that over, and it will encase the edge of the case there. And you can stitch real close to the edge of the bias tape. I don't pin it first. I just kind of leave it loose, and as I'm sewing, I coax it around the edges of the case. And that completes the project. When you're all done, you have a case with a Velcro closure and a divider in the center to keep your iron and your cord separate. This is what it looks like on the back. And you're ready to style your hair and take off. Hey, listen, if you like the idea of a handy travel case, but don't have time to make one yourself right now, just head on over to my website at nancygammon.com where you can check out the current selection of handmade goodies. And if you liked the fabrics that you saw in this video, well, they're for sale. They're all my designs. And while you're on my website, you can connect with my Spoonflower account to see the current selection. Do 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 do